When you're happy with your search, you may want to save it so that you can come back to it at a different point. You have a folder within PsycInfo that you can make use of. And to do this, click on Sign In. Now in this case, the folder is the same as the one that you use for the UEA Library Catalog, so there'll be no sign up required. Once you click Sign In, you should be given access to your folder. Now it's a good idea to save your search as you go, as your search history only lasts the length of your session. So if you step away from the computer for 10 minutes, you may come back and find that your search history is gone. To save your search, what you'll do is select any lines that you want to keep. In my case, it's all of them, so I'll say select all. I then click save searches. And from here, I'm able to give the search a name. I'll call it something simple like example search strategy and then I will select the permanent save search option if it's not already selected. After that all I'll do is click save search and that's it. The search is now saved into my folder and I'll be able to come back to it whenever I want to. Within my folder I'll find a saved searches subfolder and that's where the search can be located. If I scroll down and find the search we've just saved, to retrieve it, all I do is click on the Retrieve Saved Search option. This will then put the search terms back into my search history on top of whatever I might already have in that search history. That being the case, it's normally a good idea to start with a clear search history before retrieving your search. Once it has been added to the search history though, all you need to do is click rerun and the search will be run on that given day. So if there is a time difference between when you save the search and when you run it next, you will find that there will be a different set of papers, as papers may have been added or removed from the database in the intervening time.